I'm just going to click develop here or actually I need to increase my contrast just a bit because there's this thing affinity for what it does once I open the picture everything is just it's like I need to bring my contrast back every time because this is it if I turn this off this is it without it like it just makes the image really flat and weird maybe it's too much yeah it's too much I think just like 2% is fine but to my channel i do diys and i'm exploring affinity photos so i want to try a lot a color grading style that i found on another youtube channel um affinity vibes i'm exploring to see if i can find color grading that would work for the kind of pictures that i take and basically how to do color grading in affinity photos so this is a picture i'm working with because the person the in the video that i watched they worked with they didn't work with a black person a black subject so i want to start off with this one and then i'll now try it on a black subject to see if it gives me what i'm looking for so i increase my contrast by two percent and um also here just ensuring that this is like 32 because i think it's better i don't know if it's really better but like in photoshop i would work with 16 so 8 beats so this is what i'm doing for this one so now i'm going to close this go ahead and develop so now that that's here next thing i'm going to do is going to my adjustments um and then select According to the video, I will start up with an HSL adjustment and I'll be taking down the saturation of basically almost all my colors. So I'll start off with the yellow. I'm going to take this down to about 80%. 80. Okay. I think I'm better off just typing here. So 80. And then my greens can take this down to 100. Hold on. What do I do with yellow? Oh, sorry, I'm taking it down. So minus 80. That's an error. And then green, this would be minus 100. And then blue, be minus 100 as well. Oh, it's not blue, um, cyan. And then blue, it's also same thing. Hold on a second, was this? Why is this thing acting funny? I think this picker should actually be used, but I'm not sure. I haven't used it before. I should try it. So, minus 100. And then, actually, I don't need to type it. I just need to take it down. <laughs> Alright, perfect. You can close this and then go take another adjustment layer. And I'll select um, selective color. Under my reds, I'll take my cyan down by 30, so minus 30, and then um, yellow. Something I didn't get is why they're doing all these things, which I think is really important to figuring out what how to color grade, like why you're doing what you're doing. But I know that everyone has a different style, and sometimes it's hard to explain. Anyway, it asks that we take down yellow, or we increase yellow actually. So add more yellow to the red is what I think this is. I'm not sure. And then I change to a different channel. So I do the yellow. And on the yellow, I take this down completely. So basically removing all the blue from the yellow. I'm not sure what effect this is having on the picture. Um, actually, minus 100. That was a mistake. And then I change the neutral channel. On the neutral, neutral channel, I increase cyan by about 5%, so plus 5. And I move to the black one, black channel. Under this, I increase every single bar by 100. Um, this is weird. 
um okay very scary <laughs> and this is the result <laughs> this is everything off this is a change with this one i don't know what happened here because i don't see any changes and then this one <laughs> You know what let me give you the benefit of doubt and you know group both of them and you know adjust the opacity really to see if okay so take this off on <laughs> i'm not making fun of it i just it's not just working for me maybe it only works with like outdoor pictures so let me try an outdoor picture so I have this outdoor picture. I think what I'm going to do first is make this um, export this as lot. So export lot. Maybe I should ungroup this before I export the lot. Ungroup. Okay. And file and export lot. And um, I'm just going to call it, leave it that way. Export a lot. Save. And then I'm going to come here and go to adjustment, go to lot, uh, load lot, export a lot, open. Oh, <laughs> okay, so this does not work for me, it cannot work for me. It's just sad that I really thought it would work, but clearly it doesn't work, so it's fine. Um, I think I should try it with one more picture. not bad this like I mean this particular one is not too bad but I'm going to like take down the opacity maybe it's um, uh, I think maybe I'm take a mask and maybe with a mask I would be able to like take it off the skin and maybe if I take it off the skin then it will make sense like it's it's okay even this one if I take the opacity down like it's not bad but like in the video that he did there was like he did not have to like tone down the opacity to get like a really decent result and i really thought that if i used a picture of a white person it would be it would give me the same result he had but and then also maybe but i thought i also think that i required i require like a an outdoor background where there's a little bouquet to work with because his pictures had that but I also know that this also has some background to work with although it's a bit sharp probably it's not as blurred, blurred out as the background is not as blurred out as his own image was but still I expected more but I think he's really not just working on dark skin and that's fine I feel like I should try one more picture like just one more picture so I'm going to look for another image so I have this other picture. I'm just going to increase the contrast a little bit. Just why two percent is fine for me. Okay, develop. So I have this picture. I'm going to go ahead and apply that lot to it. So here, lot, load lot, spot a lot, open. <laughs> why does this thing look? Did I make a mistake? Did I not follow this video correctly? Because my one is just looking bad I think I honestly think I did something wrong great anyway I have tried and if I'm going to use this at all in on any image at all I obviously have to take down the opacity to a reasonable amount of which it almost feels like nothing is really happening with the picture when I do this off on off on it's like I just took out all the color and gave them blur to work with so it seems like the only way to work with this is to reduce the opacity so that it looks decent like it's not i keep saying it's not bad for instance i changed the blend mode to screen and it looks very different from when i had it on normal 
there is no more yeah so i think that if you mess with blend modes you might get something decent to work with that makes sense without taking down the opacity although it, the difference is usually really subtle so no points i'll try another color grading style from another another um another youtuber and i'll see if i find what i'm looking for i'll let you guys know see you guys in another video enjoy the rest of your time on youtube